हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई धैर्य भाटिया वेलकम यू टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैथ्स डीएनए फ्रॉम ओरिजिन टू इन्फिनिटी इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ क्वेश्चन फॉर सी एस आई नेट मैथमेटिक्स सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू बट बिफोर दैट लेट मी शेयर समथिंग विथ यू टू क्वालिफाई दिस एग्जाम वी बिलीव यू जस्ट नीड टू फॉलो थ्री सिंपल स्टेप्स फर्स्ट प्रिपेयर फ्रॉम द नेसेसरी एंड सफिशियंट मटेरियल्स practice with topic wise tests and perform with full length papers all these things are available on our website mathsdna.com as well as for any query you can contact us at our whatsapp number given above moving on to the question the question is which of the following statements is or are correct option a limit n tends to infinity 1 by 1 into 2 into 3 up to n whole raised to 1 by n equals to 0 option b same limit but it says it does not exist option c limit n tends to infinity 1 by n into 2 plus 3 by 2 raised to 2 plus 4 by 3 raised to 3 up to n plus 1 by n whole raised to n equals to e and option d the same limit but it does not exist you need to check which of the following statements are correct let us solve this for this question you need to know two theorems that are given by cauchy cauchy's first theorem on limit it says that if limit n tends to infinity sn equals to some limit l then limit n tends to infinity s1 plus s2 up to sn divided by n will also be equals to l secondly cauchy's second theorem on limits it says that if sn is a sequence such that sn is greater than 0 for all the ns and limit n tends to infinity equals to l then limit n tends to infinity s1 into s2 up to sn whole raised to 1 by n will also be equals to l these two theorems will be helpful to us in solving the given limits the first one option a and b which are based on limit n tends to infinity 1 by 1 into 2 into 3 up to n whole raised to 1 by n here we can easily see that sn is equals to 1 by n as s1 will be equals to 1 by 1 s2 will be equals to 1 by 2 and so on and limit sn equals to limit n tends to infinity 1 by n which is equals to 0 which is our l now from the cauchy's second theorem on limits that is limit n tends to infinity s1 into s2 into s3 up to sn whole raised to 1 by n should be equals to l which is equals to limit n tends to infinity 1 by 1 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 up to 1 by n whole raised to 1 by n which gives us our required term which is equals to l and here l equals to 0 so option a will be correct the limit exist and it is equals to 0 and option b will be incorrect now for option c and d limit n tends to infinity 1 by n multiplied with 2 plus 3 by 2 raised to 2 plus 4 by 3 raised to 3 up to n plus 1 by n whole raised to n here sn can easily be identified as n plus 1 by n whole raised to n which can further be simplified as limit test n tends to infinity sn which is equals to limit n tends to infinity n plus 1 by n whole raised to n simplifying this gives us limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 by n whole raised to n and this is a well known limit of e so here e is equals to l now applying cauchy's first theorem on limits which says that limit n tends to infinity s1 plus s2 plus sn whole divided by n will be equals to l so here our required term that is 1 by n 2 plus 3 by 2 whole raised to 2 plus 4 by 3 whole raised to 
up to n plus 1 by n whole raised to n will be equals to L and here L is equals to E. So option C is correct and option D is incorrect. So the correct answers are option A and option C. Thank you. And yes, a practice question for you. The series summation 3 into 6 into 9 up to 3n divided by 7 into 10 into 13 into 3n plus 4 x raised to n where x is greater than 0 converges if x is greater than 1 diverges if x is less than equals to 1 c converges if x is less than equal to 1 and d diverges if x is greater than 1 you need to comment your answer below in the comment box and this is a question of part c so it can have more than one correct answers be careful thank you and you can also be a member of our social club and watch 480 plus videos on our youtube channel and get a complete study material for any higher mathematics competitive exam from our whatsapp group links are given below